Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you a video today to ask the question, pick one, Nike Hypervenom Phantom 3 or Nike Mercurial Superfly 5. There'll be a pop-up on screen right now that will reveal a poll, cast your vote, and pick either the Phantom 3 or the Superfly 5. Which one of these two shoes would you buy? Now this is a new series on my channel that I'm basing off of the most common question that I get asked on a daily basis and that is which of these two shoes should I buy? Not just these two specifically but any two models. People want opinions, people want reasons as to why they should pick one over the other and of course I can share my opinions which I will do in this video but I also figure that since I have a following of boot enthusiasts why don't we get the opinions of the entire community, both in the poll at the corner of the screen and also down below in the comment section. So feel free to leave your opinions on which of these two shoes you would pick and your reasons why. If you own one, if you own both, leave your experience with that particular model. And these videos will kind of be a way of answering these specific situations. In the case of the Phantom 3, and the Superfly 5. There's going to be tons and tons of information, both my opinions as well as the opinion of the community, that I think is going to be very, very helpful to a lot of people who are trying to decide one or the other. So that's kind of what this video series is all about. Again, leave your vote in the poll, leave your comments down below, and we'll get a huge community of all kinds of different opinions that, like I said, I think for a lot of people trying to decide between one and the other is going to be a very, very helpful resource of information. So what's my opinion? Out of these two shoes, I personally prefer the Phantom 3, although I definitely think that these are both very capable performers at that top end $300 price point. Now my reasons for really being a big fan of the Phantom 3 and preferring it over the Superfly has a lot to do with the fit of the shoe. The Phantom and just Hypervenom line in general does have a wider fit to what you're going to get from the Superfly and the Mercurial line. And again, this is really a matter of personal preference. If you like a tighter fit in general, maybe you will prefer the Mercurials. But for me personally, I like the more generous width that this shoe has on offer and the general shape of the shoe. I just find it very comfortable for my foot specifically. Another thing that I really like about the Phantom 3 is the Flyknit Upper. While the Superfly also has a Flyknit Upper, something about this one just feels so sock-like, so flexible, so soft against your foot. It really is the most natural feeling knitted upper that I've personally experienced from any shoe from Nike or any other brand thus far. So the flexibility and just general natural sock-like sensation that this shoe has on feet is something that I'm a really, really big fan of. And finally, the fact that the Phantom 3 is available in a low-cut option. Of course, I'm holding the DF version which retails for $300 but for $250 $50 less you can get a low cut model which I personally do prefer I just like the fit and familiarity of a low cut shoe versus a mid cut shoe but again it really is a matter of personal preference as to whether you should go for the low or mid cut variation as far as the Superfly 5 is concerned while it wouldn't be my pick out of these two models it still is a very very capable performer and what I like about this shoe is the super tight locked in sensation that it does provide uh, so when you put these on the flywire cables the shape of the shoe the structure of the upper while still maintaining good flexibility and the Nike plate sole plate which has that anatomic bottom to it really gives you the most connected locked in sensation that you can get from any knitted shoe currently out there. It's one of the most responsive shoes on the market and if you're just looking for that one to one connected sensation from a very tight fitting thin synthetic shoe then the, Hyper, the, the Nike Mercurial Superfly 5 should be near the top of your list. Another thing that I really like about the Superfly and I guess the Mercurial line in general is this stud pattern. If you're looking for the most aggressive stud pattern out there right now, again, you cannot go wrong with the Mercurials or the Superfly 5s in general. Again, both of these are very capable shoes. You cannot go wrong either way, but that is my reasoning for preferring the Phantom 3 over the Superfly 5. But at the end of the day, again, it really is a matter of personal preference and what you're looking for. All right, guys, so that is it for the pick one video between the Phantom 3 and the Superfly 5. Again, be sure to vote in the corner of the screen and leave your opinions on either of these two shoes down below in the comment section. It's a great reference for other people who are trying to solve 
the exact same problem. Also, let me know your feedback on this series in general. Is this something you'd like to see more of? If it is, be sure to support the video with a like. And of course, let me know down below in the comments which two shoes you'd like to see in the next Pick One video. With that said, if you guys are looking for more info on either of these two models, there will be uh, some end screen annotations that'll take you to other videos on the channel for both of these two shoes. Be sure to check those out. If you have any questions at all, leave them down below in the comments as well. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.